All right, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Dross here with another video. And for this one, guys, we're gonna be opening a Scarlet and Violet Obsidian Flame Silly Trainer Box. It's been a long time since I've opened Pokemon cards, guys. I just haven't got around to doing it. But uh, yeah, so I, might, I have a few boxes that I that I could open. I'm also trying out a portable mic. As I mentioned, I don't know if you guys saw my last video where I did a 3D Pokemon figurine opening. The audio was bad bad guys and i'm having a hard time so i don't know if i'm gonna have to buy a different cable or something because i know the the microphones are good it's just there's something on my end that i'm not doing right so hopefully this one comes out good because like i mentioned before it's kind of hard to be doing this um and doing all these test videos when um it kind of sounds good but at the same time you know there's something bad uh but all right guys let's just get to it so obviously you guys have seen these before uh and uh, it's been a long time this is a really cool charmander by the way i haven't opened obsidian flames at all um so this is my first even though it's old guys we are in almost june 2024 and uh, this is my first time opening this box right here this one was a gift from my girlfriend for what was it our anniversary and i just been having it stored uh for a few months couple months now and uh, yeah decided to give it a shot and open it up all right here we go so as usual i'm just gonna give you guys an idea of what we have in these this is a really cool charmander that i didn't know came in this box to be honest like i said i had it i just have had it stored and oh this is a nice charmander right here um i'm gonna open more of these for sure just because like i said i haven't opened too much from this set and uh, it's one of the things that i I want to open you know at least some boxes i might get an elite trainer box as well just because i kind of want to have like a decent amount of pulls that i do myself uh some you know energies or whatever um so it's just one of those things that i want to pull myself and the code card i'm actually going to keep guys because my godson um is uh, starting to play pokemon tcg and uh, it's something that he probably wants so here we have i don't even know how many packs guys we got four five five six seven eight nine packs all right so we got nine packs uh to open so i um, guess i'm just gonna put them on the side right here and like i said this is my first introduction to uh pokemon obsidian so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it guys i follow pokemon uh groups and other stuff that uh buy and sell pokemon cards so i kind of have an idea i don't even know the the card trick um and the, like i said the code cards i'm gonna keep out actually i'll give the first one out uh there you guys go and just set that aside that way my like i said my uh godson can keep it so uh three to the back let's go with that and we'll see if i know so three to the back four to the back no did i do this wrong yes i did this wrong so five to the back okay so five to the back well let's just go ahead even though we already saw it, we didn't get anything um but you know might as well since we already done that right so we got a drill burst so like i said if you guys are new to my channel i like um just checking out some of the oh no 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 i forgot wait 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 what's going on so obviously for scarlet and violet i know that we get two uh reverse hollows right but i thought the rare was a hollow i think you also get a hollow in each one like every rare is a hollow if it's not anything crazy um but if you guys weren't familiar with my channel i like checking the art at least when i'm opening uh, packs for the first time and uh, okay so this is our first reverse hollow and then it seems like we got our second one wait what's what what did i see did i see something no, it is Dark Cry. So what am I talking about? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, guys, don't, just don't mind me. Um, but it's a really cool Dark Cry, as you guys can see here. And I like collecting the hollows. I'm an old school collector ever since base set. So obviously, I like my hollows as well. I've actually opened some of the earlier sets, like uh, Scarlet and Violet base set. Um, what was the other one? um there was a couple sets that i i did open but those were um on the side right um okay yeah so uh those were on the side i didn't record myself doing those uh, it was just something that i kind of did um 
just to uh okay so i did something wrong all right so we got a poppy yeah what, what am i doing uh carvana we did not pull a trainer gallery card i believe it's it would be on the second uh one and then we ended up getting a toga kiss as our reverse really nice card right there and uh yeah so oh uh, yeah guys i have no clue what i'm doing um as you guys could tell yeah i don't even know um so no more oh look at that umbreon that's a cool umbreon right there all right just set those to the side you know what guys this first one i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of go through it and see which ones are the ones that i need to put to the back because the first one i did it but this the second one i had uh, trouble doing that so okay so code card right there Alrighty, so we got a Tynamo, right? We have a Sun Skirt. We got a Froki, the Ramaka. I feel like all the Ramakas are are similar, right? We got the Grumpig. Uh, we got a Belly Bolt. We have a Trabnet. Uh, first reverse is gonna be a Toga Tick. Our second one is a Team uh, Star Grunt. And for our rare, we ended up getting a regular Hollow uh, Gita. And then our basic energy. All right, so we got one, two, three, four. So it is four to the back, right? So this is the back. <laughs> one, two, three, four. No, because those are there. Okay, so four right there, right? So what is it? So is it just like that? So one to the back let's go one to the back <laughs> i'm a mess guys i'm a mess all right i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of power through these but really really cool um i did open the few uh, sets i started collecting them um i don't know if i'm gonna uh, open too much product from those sets because i kind of just want to um that's the code card and then one to the front i might give uh, the next code card away all right so we got a basic energy we got a toga the maru uh we got a, a griever lechonk and like i said i got a new setup so uh, my hands are kind of getting tired because i have a, a new area that i'm doing this that's why i'm using a remote um microphones or portable microphones however you guys want to call it so it's gonna be a little bit all over the place just because i'm trying to get back into uh making videos oh we ended up getting a room uh tcg uh not tcg um trainer gallery right so this one's 206 out of 197 so i'm sorry guys it, is this uh, alternate art um, I just been off of this game, like I said, and or, or Pokemon cards in general. So I've been selling a lot, though. I have uh, been selling a bunch of my eBay as well as on uh, TCG Player, uh, but I just haven't kept with the new sets. But this is a really cool card right there, and a regular. Let's just see. Sorry for moving the camera. Just set that over there, and a regular it, rare. It's gonna be a Hollow Caesar, which is actually pretty cool. So not bad. I'm gonna give this code card away to you guys. That way, uh, you guys can get some pulls as well. Um, there you go. Hopefully, you guys get something good and this one goes over there all right so one to the back or to the front not to the back all right so we're gonna start off um let me see how what's the best way of doing this like i said i'm doing something different uh so i'm trying to get like the best way of doing this uh we got a phantom we got a whooper oh that's a really cool electros uh flamingo flamigo this is the funniest pokemon i gotta say it's just like literally a flamingo and it's even called the flamingo it's just missing the hand right uh combi is our first reverse hollow um we did not get uh rare so like i said i don't know if it's like the t the not the tcg but the trainer gallery cards or if we get like a ultra rare it comes in the second um reverse hollow spot like that's what i don't get and we ended up getting an ortega so i don't even know what are the the cards to pull from this set um i will be having the price on screen for you guys uh, as of uh, me recording this i have no clue because uh, this is uh 219 out of 197 so like i mentioned before i'm not familiar with it but uh, really really cool 
uh, card right here so these are super shiny especially because i have an overhead light now um and i was for some reason i was trying to get another card in the back but uh that's pretty much it right there all right there we go so i'm keeping this code card and just set this one to the side right here all right so one to the front um and let's just go for it all right so we got a basic energy to start off with we got a lampant a gloom gloom a bronzor in the snow snow bull he must be really cold right bronzor is like metal so bronze literally i believe uh like him oh that's a really cool one right there nice and another thing is that i'm also starting to make a car, uh not cards i'm starting to make a shirts guys i'm in the process of learning how to do that and we ended up getting a hound doom ex i'm really happy that they brought these back oh look at the star pattern a uh, hollow to it um glitter sprinkle hollow i don't know what you guys want to call it uh hound doom gx really nice card right there um but um i'm really happy that they brought these back because i i was a big fan of the ex's those were some of my favorite ultra rares uh, i gotta say my least favorite was um the v's for some reason i wasn't a big fan of the v's i mean i like them and everything uh but i just felt like in the recent like uh, uh, sword and shield era um the v's weren't as valuable anymore uh it wasn't fun pulling them just because they were common you know it wasn't like something crazy to pull um so i don't know they just weren't as big as i wanted them to be or i thought they would be right so i'm, I'm gonna give this one away to you guys there you go Alrighty, so yeah, I don't know guys because like I said, I I'm, I come from uh, base set So I really enjoyed the hollows. Those were the thing to pull back then um, And I'm still a big fan of hollows if you guys have followed my channel uh, For a while now you guys would know that I do collect I have like my own binder for hollows regardless if they're not worth anything I, I'm still a big fan of hollows, you know, I appreciate cards for what they are. Uh, we got a charmeleon um, And I like them for the art like I have a binder for each type you know like all the grass types i even have one for all the reverse hollows although the reverse hollows i do sell them on my ebay um just because i i did have a binder to collect them but i, I have all my old ones on there um see like how come some of them the ultra rare was on the second spot the second reverse hollow and then the other one the hound doom was in the regular rare so yeah that's what like i said i'm not i don't know i don't know what's going on uh we got a palafin this is the first time really seeing this pokemon like i was aware of it i knew it was a thing uh but this is my first time actually seeing it all right so we got two packs left we got the tyranitar and the um uh Dragonite. Uh, I'm gonna leave the Dragonite towards the end because I don't know. I think I like Dragonite just a tiny bit better than the Tyranitar. Let me know in the comment section below which one you guys think it's better. Um, I'm gonna keep this code card and I'll give you guys the last one just to end it on that one, right? Um, so one to the front but um yeah like i said i'm doing shirts guys I'm, I'm gonna start selling shirts on etsy on ebay and stuff like that so i'm trying to come up with designs i know that i can't really make pokemon ones because i know pokemon might come after me uh so i'm not too familiar with um the copyright stuff like that because i know there's a lot of people that do that regardless uh so if you guys know oh that's a really cool pidgeotto all right guys so far this is my favorite art of this set so that's a really cool i'm a big fan of pidgeotto auto um i got the dragoner and, and the reason i like it is because of the episode right where ash uh, comes across a pidgeotto uh we got an armorage or i think it's his pidgeotto never mind um as uh it's an uncommon interesting so our first reverse is gonna be a whooper is like oh you got me i wasn't expecting you like you've been saving this for so long like what it's really you <laughs> we got a skarmory and for our rare we just got a regular rare toxicity Ooh. Um, oh, this one's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that's a pretty cool art. All right, guys. So now for the last episode. Hope the last episode. See, guys, this is how long I've been uh, away <laughs> from my YouTube. Um, and by the way, I want to thank you guys for 30,000 subscribers. 
um, I gotta say a few months ago for whatever reason my channel just took off um, I was getting so many views so many subscribers it was really crazy I wish I would have jumped into the the bandwagon on that um, and kind of started making videos when I was getting that hype um, I don't know what what YouTube did that threw my videos out there um, and ever since then they kind of picked up they've been like steady um, I obviously it went down but uh, it's still like getting way more views than I used to so that's what kind of made me want to uh, do videos again right was because I was like you know what I'm, I need to do this again because I really enjoy making videos you know it's a lot of work editing and everything um, but it's really fun at the same time and I really need to get back to it because I've been off of my channel for so long I need to do drawing videos so I've been doing a lot of things so I might start doing like shirt designs on my channel if you guys are um, you know that's something you guys would enjoy uh like i said i might look into pokemon copyright issues like if i draw myself is there gonna be an issue and stuff like that so clay dolls our first reverse which is a rare and then we end up getting a ground pig which is an uncommon so i wonder if you could get two rares as your reverses that'd be pretty cool all right and i'm also selling like i said pokemon cards so if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section but i feel like i'm i need to get a p.o box that way people don't know my address uh because that that's kind of scary right and then oh we ended up getting that clay doll as our hollow uh rare for the last card guys so uh we ended up with these three right here those three bad boys um i don't know like i mentioned before how rare uh these are in pools or if they're worth anything i don't think the hound doom is anything crazy um i believe this is a alternate art of room or a full art i'm not sure um but it's a really really cool one it's a really interesting pokemon to me um i don't know it's just so random right uh and then we ended up getting the ortega as our uh trainer so three pulls um let me know in the comment section what you guys think if this is a decent uh pulls for a trainer box or if i could have done a lot better so like i mentioned like i mentioned before i don't know how much these are worth so i don't know if these are great pulls i know the houndoom is probably not right because i feel like uh exs are probably a little common um if i mean it might be worth something if it it's uh, playable in the TCG so I'm not planning on selling them by the way I'm just saying um, the ones that I do sell are the reverse hollows and just I have a bunch of uh, cards from my like own collection um, that I have for sale and if you guys are interested let me know uh, but I'm probably gonna have to get like I said a PO box that way because uh, right now I'm just using my own address um and uh yeah i'm probably gonna do that if i'm putting that out on youtube but yeah so that's gonna be the end of the video guys let me know if you guys are happy that i'm back and if you guys want me uh, doing more videos and i'm sorry if the audio quality is bad uh but don't forget to leave a like guys and to subscribe for more videos and i guess i'll just catch you guys on the next one team rocket draws